Hi fellow chicken lovers, I'm Grace and this is Truth Be Told with Grace. Today I'm going to do a review on, and I know part of this is backwards, the Farmlight Automatic Chicken Door. I just got one of these last week and I installed it and I blew it up. So obviously I was pissed <laughs> because although I do have electric, solar powered electric poultry netting as my first line of defense, you don't want to be without a door. So I, you know, ordered a replacement, um, which I did get for free, and I wrote an unpleasant review and did a video that was not nice. <laughs> and I put it up, and um, the owner of the company actually wrote me personally. And talked to me like a human, even asking me what I thought he should do to improve. And I was so impressed with that because how often does that happen? Never. <laughs> so I took the video down and I rewrote the review. I didn't give him a full five stars because there are some things that he needs to improve, I think, personally. But I'm going to redo the video. Um, I, can't, I hurt his feelings, and I feel so bad. His name is Mitch. Mitch, if you're watching this, I am going to go outside and redo my review in a minute, and I will have you know that it is raining out there, and it's like 45 degrees, which in the south is equivalent to sub-zero temperatures, okay? But before I go out there, it's getting close to um, um, peep opening time. I'm going to go ahead and do this review. Here is the old door that I blew up the motor on and I'll explain to you what I think I did wrong and why I did it. But I will tell you guys, if you have bougie chickens, you need a bougie chicken door. And this is a bougie chicken door because it has all, all the bells and whistles. So much so that it was a little bit more advanced than my brain could handle. <laughs> Um, like I said, I do think that there's some things he can improve on. We'll talk about those later. Let's talk about the things that I love about this door. It has these little runway lights along the side. So when it opens, they're green. So if you have chickens with bird brains, they know where to go, I guess. But when it closes, it's red. And it's just so cute. I mean, it's just so cute. And it has like a digital display up here. <clears throat> which is um, pretty, like, it's it's not hard to use once you kind of figure it out. Uh, he uses a lot of numbers and um, um, sort of acronyms and abbreviations, which you would think me, being former military, would understand. But I will tell you, I've had a bit of a, I had a traumatic brain injury um, many years ago, and, and so when I see more than, like, two or three numbers in a row, I do this. <laughs> it just really fries my eggs. So personally, I would like to see more like step-by-step -step pictures and more visual stuff. It just helps me. Plus, I'm ADHD as the day is long. And I, you know, I'm just not good at, at focusing and honing in on this kind of technical stuff. All right, so back to the stuff we love. I love how big it is. I have some, you know, I have roosters. And I have run chicken doors on my other coops, and I like those too. They open and close automatically. They're not as sophisticated as this. They do have a, a pressure sensor as well. It really is the same design of door. They have the same track running up and, and the motor that spins and, and lifts it up and down, but just without all the bells and whistles. But they're smaller, so I've got a I've got a Brahma and I have a uh, an Orpington, so and and then other birds. But you know I see them squeezing their fat butts through the other doors, and so so it's good that I'm checking that light. It's good that this is so big; it has so much open space. I really do like that. Um, it has this little sensor here, so you see this, um, and it has this little sensor, and the sensor is meant to mount. Um, on this little thing. I'll show you when we're outside. It's meant to mount on this little thing outside. I am not a fan. It, it, so the idea, of course, is that, you know, if your bird is stuck in the, is in the door, you know, farting around because, you know, they're birds and they have bird brains, um, that the, the little sensor will, uh, the laser sensor will detect it and it, and your door won't slam on your bird, which is kind of important, but it's just, um, it looks like a sight that you would put on a gun, <laughs> you know, and it does have like this little adjustment screw. I mean, this guy really went all out. He really went all out to, um, to, 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 to do this right. But it's got this little screw 
And then of course you have a little screwdriver that comes with it and then you can adjust the length of, of your um, uh, laser. So if it's if you want it shorter or longer. And then it mounts on the door. You have to take this off first and then slide it onto the mount and then you put this back on. And, and because it's threaded all the way down, you can adjust it for how, because I have kind of a narrow door, uh, a, a space I'm working with out there. So I, I needed to adjust it because this went into the, the main door where I go in and out of it. It just kind of was a mess. I don't know. So I'm not a huge fan. I don't really know how this could be improved. I don't know. It's kind of a lot. The other thing is that this is where I got confused. So you see this little power thing here? This is where you plug it in to either, um, either if you're just going to do a regular power thing or if you're going to do solar power or also where the battery backup thing goes. And you need like 50 million batteries for this. But it's not meant to run on battery power. As you can see, it's, you can't read it because it's backwards. It's only meant to run for the, the door for like three days in a backup type situation. All right, we'll talk about that in a minute. So you have this one here, but you also have one over here. All right, so you're meant to do one or the other. Where I went wrong, I think, is that I assumed that because it's a battery backup, it needs to be plugged in also. I mean, in my mind, how is it going to back something up if it's not plugged in? I, I guess it's meant to like, and, and when I did plug it in, it didn't really work. And so I assumed that, that, that the other one had to be plugged in at the same time. And it was just meant like, when I say it didn't work, like none of this came on. And then I, I assumed that it was meant to be together. But when I plugged so I had this plugged in already and then I plugged the solar power in and it began smoking and um so the rest as they say is history but um so but it has so it has two so that's why I kind of assumed that you needed both and but that's apparently not the case um so I burnt the motor out if you burn the motor out on yours while you're waiting for your replacement just so you know you can manually lift the door it takes a very long time don't push hard just slow steady pressure um you're not going to break it because you already did <laughs> and you can close it so that's just kind of what i did um during the time i was waiting for my new one to come in um so you you're supposed to drill so you cut out the opening for this and and all i did was just open it open the door up and then I put it up against what I was going to put it on. And then I just took a pin and drew the inside. But you want this open, of course, so that you can actually draw. Does that make sense? Um, anyway, and then I just cut that out. And then you wanted to bore a hole because you want all your electrical connections to be inside. And all of this is in the manual. And, and I did two holes, one on either side. That way I can do one or the other if I want to. But not together. Not together. If you're going to be hooking this to solar power, which I did, um, he has some items that he recommends, the solar panel and then the little receiver thing, and um, but separately you buy a battery. So that adds another $100 to your, your bundle, just so you know off the top that it does not come with solar. You have to buy that extra. It is about another $100. And he does not have instructions on um, how to hook up solar in his manual, he does have a little blurb about it in here. I'm trying to get to here with pictures of, of what he recommends that you get. Okay, you can see the pictures. I know the words are backwards. So I did actually buy this directly off of Amazon. So these things do come with the solar panel. You don't appear to really need them. Everything else you need. And he has designed his door to function with this solar panel. So for example, he has this, so this is what you are gonna, see there's things that you need with this door and there's a bit of skill set that you need um, with this door to do the hookup. So this, you see there's two empty wires here, two uh, blank wires, and you have to splice this to the piece of the solar panel, and I'll send you, I'll just put a picture up, uh, the part that goes into um, the solar power thing you do. And I can't remember the name of it right now, but I'll, I'll put it up on the screen. You have to splice it. And um, in his video, he's done it with um, electric uh, tape, 
wired electric wire tape, the black stuff, and he tells you um, electrical tape. I don't know why I can't say that. He tells you that that's not a permanent solution and to do whatever it is that you think is is appropriate. I, I will say that um, not everybody knows what is appropriate, even though on his website he does have a video that somebody else did of how to splice and shrink wrap wires. I'm weird and I already happen to know that and I already happen to have some shrink wrap, so I was able to do mine. But if you are not familiar with how to do that, you may have to get some help. Really and truly, this, this, I don't like this, this should be one piece. You shouldn't have to be doing any splicing. I understand why he did what he did, but it's just not, it's probably not the best thing for people who are, who, who don't know how to do this. And, and you actually have to kind of cut the ending off of their piece and splice. And I'll show you that when I go out there. Um, so again, the instructions for setting up solar are not really in the manual. He has videos on online. He has videos online, like how-to videos. Um, I have to say that the videos are a little hard to understand. He kind of mumbles a little bit when he talks, and he talks low. He's like got that um, one of like a lower voice, not like loud mouth like me. Um, so it's a little bit hard to hear him, and um, there's no up close videos of what he's doing. So I am going to do up close so you can see if if you have a hard time like I do with all of this kind of stuff. Hopefully I can help you and help myself at the same time. So let's go outside and have a look at the door that is working, the one I didn't blow up. Okay, wait, before we do that, one more teeny tiny thing I forgot to tell you about. Um, it does have two remote controls. I don't know why you need remote controls, but it's really cool that it has them. Uh, what's not really cool is that they don't come with the batteries. And normally that wouldn't be a problem, except that they need a special little battery that you have to go buy extra. There's a lot of um, little, little things that you need that, that it doesn't really come with, and that's kind of a pain, and I don't really particularly dig that, but it really isn't the end of the world. All right, Mitch, I am standing out here in the cold and misty, kind of the misty rain, which is making my hair frizz. And I'm doing this for you because you were so kind to me. And I'm so sorry that I hurt your feelings when I sent you, when I left you a bad review. Uh, please forgive me, your darling. You're brilliant. And, and, you're, and see, Cro-Magnon agrees that you're brilliant. You're smarter than I am. So let's have a look at the door. All right, there she is. There's my door. Look, it has this little rain shield, which is clearly working. Um, you do have to do some, you do have to have a little bit of a skill set, like I said, because um, it you're supposed to put it, so the idea is that the door, when it comes up, is going to come up behind the rain shield. And so you want to set the rain shield um, like half an inch to an inch away from your wall. Um, and he suggested doing uh, little blocks or something. I didn't want to do that. Uh, you run the risk of splitting a small block like that open. You have to pre-drill holes. And I already had this, I know I need to paint, but it has been raining like forever. I haven't had this shed long. And um, I at least got the white done. I didn't get the trim done because, well, it's just been raining constantly. All right. Um, so this already sets me forward like about three quarters of an inch. So I just drilled straight on into um this side this trim and then for over here what i did is i just used some old nuts you know old nuts <laughs> sorry i can't say that without laughing so you can see here so here's here's my power cord it's plugged in and this is going up to the solar panel you can see it coming out up there with a bunch of other stuff because i have a lot of other solar powered items that fan and I have um, I have a camera and I have lighting I have all kinds of stuff because I'm weird um, I don't like that it's not secured here at the bottom it, there's a little holes here just seems like there should be screws there and the screws that come with it are really chintzy and they strip very easily so be careful and you just want to make sure that you don't tighten this down in these screws because it will compress this little track here and, and then your little your door won't go up and down smoothly and that will burn out your motor too. So here's and the display. In order to set the display, let me get over here. Um, you're gonna press and hold the set button and I'm not gonna do that right now. 
Well, yes, I am. Let's just go ahead and do it. Press and hold. All right, so now there it is. I can set. And then to, you can set it up and down for the time. I don't need to change the time. Press set again. You can change the minutes. And then for me, I wanted to do the ambient light. So I wanted it to open and close with the sun. And, and so um, so here is the section where you're going to set, like, the if you want it to open and close at a certain time. I didn't want to do that, so we're going to skip past that. See, CL stands for close. All right, now you get to 4L and OP stands for open. And I remember that little silly chart that I don't like? I'm setting mine to open at 7 so that it's going to be open when there's kind of a lot more light. I prefer my birds to come out a little bit after the sun is up. Okay, I'm setting again. Now CL stands for close. And like I said, I have birds that lag behind, so I want it to set. And I haven't tested these yet, so I don't really know if um, they're where I want to be, but you can just adjust it up or down if you need to. All right, so 5T, this needs to be off. This is your timer, which would, would open at certain times of the day, but you have to have that off because they can't be on at the same time. And so you see that's on and that's off. Okay, that matters. And then I don't know what this stands for, but it has to be off, it has to be on. There. CL needs to be on, 5T needs to be off, according to the manual. I don't know what this is, but it's set. All right, so here is all of that in the manual. It, Like I said, it's just very technical. Uh, it would help me, it would help me if Cro-Magnon would hush. It would help me if, if there was like step-by-step -step visual aids here, because obviously I do love that it's it's 24 hour time format because I'm former military and I love that. Okay, here's that the remote control. Like I said, I haven't been able to do that because I don't have the special batteries. And then here it goes for setting the ambient light stuff, okay? So it goes through all of what I just showed you and then, oh yeah, here, 5T must be set to off because that means that the timer is turned off and 6L must be set to on. Okay, if you're having issues, unplug the door and plug it back in. He has this little chart in here to set it up for solar power. And and nine is the most light for the door to open. So if you want the door to open at like full daylight, then you want to set it at nine. And zero is the least for the door to open. So if you want it to set open while it's still kind of dark outside or just barely barely light then you set it at zero and somewhere in between and he has he has settings recommendations he re recommends uh four for opening and seven for closing i personally don't really like those settings i prefer my door to open when it's a little bit brighter and close when it's a little bit darker because i have some of those lagging chickens who want to like peck the night bugs and then sneak in at the last the midnight hour so to speak and then here uh, for the close setting, nine is the least light for the door to close and zero is the most light for the door to close. So, um, you know, it would help me like if there was like a, a visual chart, you know, like one of those like triangular long things. So here you can see I've got the sensor set and I had to, hold on, let me step forward. He is really crowing up a storm. I had to really uh, scroll it way back here. It's a little bit tedious. I mean, again, not the end of the world. I think the door is getting ready to open. Oh, look, it's opening. Look at the runway lights. Isn't that so cool? And see, it's going up behind my rain shield right there. Just up oh, there come birdies. There's Crow Magnon. Watch your ankles. Oh, look, there's two of them going through. There's my Orpington. Uh huh. There we are. They try to go through two at a time, you know. So I have 20 birds. We could be here all day. Come on, babies. Come on out. Oh, there's my, my Brahma, Minnie Cooper. I love her so much. I had to cut her out of the egg, and there's my other rooster. Oh, and that's Cosette. Now we can go inside and have a look. Okay, so this thing comes with your solar panel, and this is what... It's got dust. I'm, I'm gonna... So I ha, here's my setup here. Uh, I'm gonna, like close this in so that I'm gonna make it like a cabinet because one thing I don't like is I don't like my birds having access to electrical items and um, 
Cro-Magnon's like, get the heck out of my... Um, and I don't like all the dust settling on electric stuff. That's never a good thing. Um, so you may want to consider that with yours. All right, so here's the... So this is this lead here is going directly to the solar panel. You see it's coming up, and it goes out there, and it goes up. Um, and it's got a little picture here. I'm not sure I can focus on it. Anyway, there's a little picture of a solar panel there. And, and I really do recommend watching the video on this, on how to use this. They, there's a video for that too. Right here, this, is, this lead goes, why am I not focused? Hold on. Oh, there we go. Um, so this lead goes directly to your battery. It's pretty self-explanatory. Whoops. It just clamps. That's pretty simple to understand. Now this is the one that was kind of a pain in the asphalt. This one is what goes to your door and it has a little picture of a light bulb here. Okay. And um, this is where you have to splice wires. Now he says this on his, on not on his video, but on the website, you have to read it. But see the wire that came with this, all right, it has these two little circular uh, connectors at the end. You really have to cut those off. Dad gummit. I can't hold on to it and hold the film. But it has a blue wire and a, a brown wire. So very important, guys. Blue goes to black. Brown goes to red. Don't mix that up. And another thing, if you're having problems, this, okay, this turns it on or off. If both lights are on, you're good. But you do that, and it turns it off. Okay. I hope I didn't just re have to reset my door now. All right, there you go. Um, it does have a little USB port here. We don't use that in this application, but that's my setup. The battery's down there. That's the backup battery. This thing does pull a lot of power. Look, there's one of my bougie chickens right there. He's probably coming up here to attack my ankle. Are you, Cro-Magnon? When it closes, look at that. It closes nice and slow. Listen how so how listen to it. Hear how quiet that is? All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Farm Light automatic chicken door for bougie chickens. There it is in all its glory. Okay. That's my review of the Farm Light automatic chicken door. I do love the door. There's some improvements that could be made, as always. Mitch, you're awesome. You're adorable. You're wonderful. Thank you so much for writing me and, and talking to me like an actual human being. I'm sorry I hurt your feelings. Bye.